It's Friday, everybody, and not just any Friday, but Good Friday. So if you were there last night, you heard Ken Canedo very eloquently remind us that beginning last night on Holy Thursday, we begin one celebration, one remembrance over three days. And it began last night with Holy Thursday, where Jesus celebrated the Passover with his disciples and gave us the gift of the Eucharist. And from there, Jesus went to the Mount of Olives, to the garden, and waited, knowing that Judas had betrayed him, and waited there knowing that he was going to be turned over for the ultimate suffering, crucifixion, and death on the cross. So I remind all of us that we're working our way to Easter, and we know that. We know how the story turns out, but we can't skip ahead. There is no Easter without the cross. And so in this movement that began last night with Holy Thursday, it continues to the cross. And you and I are called to go there with Jesus. So I'll remind us that every year we hear from the Gospel of John, John is the only disciple that didn't abandon Jesus that was with him, standing at the foot of the cross, with Jesus to the end. You and I are called to do the same. So on Good Friday, we enter into Christ's suffering by hearing the Gospel of John and spending that time in the continuation of the Triduum venerating the cross, praying for the church, and waiting for the resurrection. Again, I'll remind all of us, there is no Easter or resurrection without the cross. And part of that paradox reminds you and I that the suffering in our own life is always joined to the suffering of Christ. And it is through our own crosses that God redeems us, suffers with us, and ultimately brings us to eternal life in heaven. One other thing just to consider I was something that I've read in the last days. Jesus suffered in God forsakenness. So though God was always with Jesus, his father was always there, by taking on our sinfulness, like what our sin does to us, it separated him from his father. And yet he trusted the God that we are called to trust. And I remind us that when we suffer, Christ is always with us. So on this Good Friday, may we celebrate what God did for us in the sorrow that it deserves and the hopefulness of what it means in our life. Happy Good Friday. See you at church. Remember, it's the only day that Mass is not celebrated. So we will receive Eucharist that was consecrated last night. I'll see you at church, and it's almost Easter. God bless you.